Ready? Uh, my name is Barry, and we are Agola. If you were listening to any of the keynotes today, or if you're in this room because you care about the space, you know that voice has been exploding. Uh, 2018, the estimates, depending on whose numbers you pay attention to, about 250 billion, quarter trillion uh, questions asked via voice. The challenge is, with four billion or so pages on the web, the ones that have been optimized for voice are a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of that, almost none. So you've got million, you know, billions of questions being asked, and you don't have answers happy, uh, you know, there for them. At Agolo, our mission is to make the web listenable. So Agolo reads content. We read vast amounts of content. We organize that, and then we summarize. We do that at scale. So we create human quality summaries at machine scale. Walk through one of our use cases. Associated Press is one of our clients in the voice space. So the AP had a challenge. They generate about 2,000 stories every single day. They wanted to create broadcast versions. For them, it's not only about devices, but it's also pushing that out to radio, television. But then, uh, increasingly, smart devices are a big part of what they're doing. So the AP had done struck a deal with uh, Amazon Alexa last year to be at one of the premier sources of news content. So if you were to ask your Alexa today, Alexa, what's going on with the uh, UK Prime Minister vote? You would probably get an Agolo summary of an Alexa article uh, as the answer to that, uh, of an Associated Press article to, as the answer to that. And summarizing doesn't just simply mean making it shorter, right? To make it a meaningful, coherent summary, you needed to have that listenability. You need to do things like pronoun resolution, co-references, uh, and, and just the sentence structure that things relate so you hear things, because we, we, we consume content differently orally than we do in print. I'm gonna do a quick demo of how this works with the Golo today. Uh, so here we're gonna look at, we'll uh, click up here and we'll look at an AP article, uh, which is Equifax uh, paying uh, big penalties for the data breach. It's a fairly lengthy article. Let's go over to the, uh, we'll grab the uh, URL, we'll go over to the Agolo Summarizer, we'll paste that in. We'll click Summarize here. This is the interface that the AP reporters and journalists are using in the field. If we look at this, this is a lengthy article. It's probably 700, 800 or, or so words. Uh, so it's a pretty lengthy thing. If you click back over to where the summarizer uh, page, we're gonna see the summary there. For the AP, they want a 75 to 80 word summary. Uh, you're gonna see again, it's coherent, it makes sense. Uh, it, it's something that's gonna be quick and, and work uh, from a listenable standpoint. Uh, so. This is uh, one example of what we're doing. I'm gonna go back now to my slide, thank you. Another use case, we're working with a wealth management division or a financial services institution, and their goal is to provide personalized, customized, on-demand market uh, briefings for every user, Audible. So if you think about it, Maybe I own 30 stocks and a dozen ETFs. You may own 20 stocks and five ETFs. She may own you know, 30 stocks and 10 ETFs. We all have different uh, investments at any given moment. Our broker knows exactly what we hold. And they also know what's going on in the market today. So why, when I go and say, give me a market briefing, do I hear you know, the S&P today finished at this and this was there? I don't care, I wanna know about what happened in my world, not someone else's world. So they're looking at taking your portfolios in real time, they know what the market's doing, and they can then come back to Agolo and say, why are these, for Barry, why did these stocks move today? And we will use our event detection to identify the stories that support movement for those stocks, and then deliver summarized uh, stories for those in together stitched into a neat briefing. So when you're you know, getting up in the morning, I listen when I'm shaving, I'm listening to my Alexa. I'll be able to get my real-time market briefing and know, we, know what's going on, how it impacts me. We're also working with a consumer products company who is looking to use augmented reality. So when, when you're passing by a restaurant, you can say, what are the reviews like on this restaurant? And it'll aggregate reviews from multiple sources, pull them together, and in near real time, spit out a summary that's short enough for me to hear kind of pros and cons about this restaurant. 
What do I need to know about it? Again, these are applications that are coming soon and are really gonna change the way that we're interacting with information. So about us, we've got a 21 person team. We're headquartered in New York. We've got an R&D office in uh, Cairo, Egypt. Uh, we're mostly technical. We've got three PhDs and a group of masters. People, we, we've presented uh, over 50 publications at top tier conferences. But I want to spotlight one thing, because uh, this is something that has not been officially announced, but you guys will get the early scoop, it'll come out this week, is we just closed our investment round. A Google Assistant Investments has joined as an investor. Microsoft's AI investment arm had already been an investor, so I think that makes us uh, the only startup with investments from both Microsoft and Google Assistant. And it really sort of furthers their belief in this model for how the, the world of uh, smart uh, voice is going to work in going forward. We're over at table two in the startup alley, so I invite you to come by and get a quick demo, and, or you can email me for more information. Uh, we'd love to show, show you what we're doing and hear about some potential use cases from you. Thank you.